Hold on to your Christmas socks because we are about to make the most simple, delicious chocolate fudge you have ever made. Hi and welcome to another episode of Love Mrs. G. Today, as promised, we're going to be cooking something up in the kitchen. And for something quick and easy to make, we're going to be making chocolate fudge. But it's a super easy recipe that circulated around the internet not all that many years ago may even still be circulating and that is Dollar Tree fudge. Now I didn't go to the Dollar Tree for my ingredients because I find with a 25 cent increase on everything that finding the ingredients and having to buy multiples of things costs more than just going to Walmart or Hannaford or wherever you have locally and just buying a big bag of the chocolate chips and a bigger can of the sweetened condensed milk. So without any further ado, let's get into it. I am using 23 ounces of milk chocolate chips. You can either melt these in your microwave or on your stove top. Either way, you're going to want to keep an eye on them so that they do not overheat and end up congealing. You'll want to have on hand parchment paper, some type of vegetable oil spray. I use canola oil, vanilla, real, or imitation. Does not make a big difference to me, might to you. I have a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And just for fun, I bought some Christmas sprinkles. The chocolate chips are in a heavy sauce pan on medium heat. Once I see that they've started melting and the pan has actually heated up, I turn it down to low. And I continue to stir occasionally until they're completely melted. While this is melting, you'll want to line your 8 by 8 inch pan with parchment paper and then spray it with your oil spray. Now that my pan, pan is okay. heated up, I will turn these chocolate chips down on low so they don't burn. Already have them. Already have. I have milk. I have uh, spinach, and I have um, bread, and I have spinach. What else? Mushrooms. I have those. That's fine if that's what you want.
You're going to add in two teaspoons or so of vanilla. And your sweetened condensed milk. Once this is all combined together really, really well, you're going to pour it into your prepared baking pan. And this hardens up pretty quickly, so you're going to, going to want to work quick with it so that it all gets incorporated. And here we go. Prepared pan. makes quite a bit of fudge and it's actually a family favorite of ours that we make almost every year. It's quick, it's easy, makes a good gift if you would like to gift it out to people after it's cut up. And it's certainly cheaper than going to buy it at the store prepared. This is hardening up really, really quick. So before it completely hardens, I'm going to put my sprinkles in it. <clears throat> I'm not going to go too overboard with the sprinkles because really what you want is the fudge, not sprinkles. Although the kids. I like them. There's a very cute little gold circles in it and silver balls. There you go. These are going to, this is going to go in the refrigerator for about one hour, maybe a little bit more, so it can harden up. And then you can cut it into small squares or big squares, whichever your choice, and you can package it up to give away or set it on a platter. Easy peasy. Place your prepared fudge in the refrigerator for at least one hour to harden up the rest of the way. And then slice, serve, and eat. Okay, time to shift gears and let's get some cleaning motivation going. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors. Lost within a haze. Don't rely on others. To get you through them. Why you're on the open sea Cannot take this anymore A certain shade of blue But always remind me of you If you've made it this far in the video, leave me your favorite emoji in the comments below.
So tell me, now that the clocks have been turned back and our days have been shortened and night falls on us around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, how have you guys been doing with seasonal depression or anything of the sort? Let me know in the comments below how you've been doing and how the season change affects you. Generally for me, once the clocks are turned back, I find that I sleep better, that my depression lifts, and that winter really doesn't bother me the way that it does a lot of other people. Though this year, I found that when the clocks turn back, and the fact that I'm going through menopause at the same time, I'm at the ending of my menopause cycle, which means that I'll be done with it, that it's really kind of affecting me differently than normal. Not that I'm depressed, but I don't sleep well, and the time change just leaves me feeling like there's not enough time in the day to get things done. anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever so free Oh my sweet baby
I found this spray on window cleaner at the Dollar Tree on one of my recent trips there. And I'm going to tell you, I love this stuff. It is so good with cleaning windows and I found out even really good with cleaning my sink. And the really nice part about it is it smells really good. It doesn't have that typical glass cleaner smell to it. Another thing that I've done recently is I needed new microfiber cloths and when I was in Walmart in the painting section, I noticed that they had a big pack of terry towels for $10. I think you get like 18 of them. And I decided that I was going to try those instead of the microfiber cloths because I find when I wash them, if I don't have a big enough load, they end up tossed in with other things and they pick up every little thing that you are wiping down or is in the machine or we have pellet the pellet stove it seems to pick up little splinters and things from those so they really were getting thrown away on a regular basis because you had to be careful what you cleaned with them depending on what they had picked up these terry towels they wash up really nice they were cheap and they work really really well they're super absorbent me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me want Try forever, I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. Something about you isn't right. I swear you can make me lose my mind Lying here awake at night If this is love then I don't want it Why you gotta be so complicated I'm sick and tired of contemplating I don't want to be here waiting If this is love then I don't want it I can't be the one running to whenever you feel down I can't be that someone will always be there when something's wrong I can't rely on you now I can't rely on you anymore I can't depend I have been working hard to get caught back up with my laundry and get it back to my two basket system that I use. I have a white basket for whites and a, a teal basket for colored clothes and I try to keep it down so that I have one load of each per day and for a while my system got a little bit messed up because my son stayed with us for a short, short term and it just became a mess. So. Now I've got it back on track and I've been keeping up with it for the last few days and hopefully I can just keep up with it period so I don't have it climbing back up my wall.
my eyes and go back Play it in my mind A movie of us two, yeah We were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture perfect sky now It looks so great and cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me mm. Silent treatment, is this what it feels like When your heart is shaking, when it bleeds If it's over, just say it out loud Say those words, go ahead, just shout July got stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and didn't mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove. But I guess that's over now. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. Embracing the art of homemaking is like weaving a tapestry of everyday moments into memories. If you found joy in today's video, express it with a like and consider joining our growing community by simply hitting that subscribe button. I look forward to connecting with you in the comments below, so share your thoughts, ideas, or anything you'd like to see in future videos. Until our paths cross again, stay inspired, find beauty in the ordinary, and keep making your home a haven of warmth and love.